All right there guys, thanks for tuning in again. This is Redtail Ray coming at you. I wanted to share this cool do-it-yourself project. Um, just completed actually, took a little bit longer than the long weekend I had without the wife and the kids in town. Um, and originally this was kind of planned for the last couple years on being a greenhouse. Um, but it ended up being a, a three season porch, I guess is what you'd call it, because it's just screened instead of uh, polycarbonate wrapped. Um, just got it pretty much completed right in time for Mother's Day. And she wanted the back wall painted. It used to be that dark brown. Um, and believe it or not, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it back there, but behind that chair back there, that's a doggy door. So the previous owners had this house before, long before we bought it five years ago. Um, this was a, a dog kennel. And there's still a fence up here. And they had um, holes where actually I repurposed or refilled in these landscape timbers, which is what the whole structure is supported by is one, two, one in the middle, three, four five landscape timbers and they had the holes still in there. Let me see if I can zoom out here. Uh, two screen doors and plastic C channel. Uh, again of course this is a ginormous budget build. Um, try to keep it well under uh, four or five hundred bucks but I'm not sure if that happened or not. But these holes were already there. Um, and there's the doggy door right back here. And so I kind of turned it into a, a she shed, a sunroom, a sitting room, a BFZ, a bug free zone, because mosquitoes get really bad here up in the middle of, well, north of the Twin Cities, but not quite middle of Minnesota. Um, so this is what it turned out like. And I'm not, you know, by any means a framer or a contractor. I've dabbled in a few things here and there, um, but. It turned out really nice. The wife is really happy. Um, I went with clear on the top instead of the smoke. The clear was about 13 bucks a sheet, uh, 26 inches wide by uh, 8 feet long. And uh, it turned out really nice. The reason why um, I used these five landscaping timbers is one, uh, they already had the existing holes, and just adding a little more than half a bag of cement to fill up those holes and level those out to create the structure um, is because. See this giant crack right here? Um, this actually had a pretty significant frost heave just a few years ago, so I didn't really want to attach it um, to the house, as well as I'm not pulling a permit for anything, but um, that way with all these uh, bolts here, um, they can just be loosened up just a little bit if we're you know, getting towards winter time. And this whole thing, if it needs to, theoretically, can move a little bit, and it's not gonna be pulling, obviously, because there's nothing tying it to the house. Um, pulling stuff off the house or pulling away from the house. The other reason I kind of went with this direction or this kind of setup over what you'd see traditionally is um, going anything longer than eight feet. Obviously lumber prices are crazy right now and it's the fifth month of 2021 so it's it's absolutely nuts but um, as you can see even these eight foot panels I was a little bit short on. I could have cut them down and made it really nice but I'm just going to fill that in with some foam or something like that I don't know but turned out really well this whole thing is completely free floating with just a, a little bit of assistance right now by this one brace in the middle that I kind of keep from sagging until I figure out something a little bit more permanent but uh, I did not install the lockers on the sliding screen doors I don't think it needs to be knocked um, but works out great works really really well I'm um, just actually uh, snuck off today and got a couple flowers for Mrs. Redtail Ray, she hasn't seen these yet. Um, it just turned out to be a great little room. These chairs we got for actually our wedding present, I believe, um, quite a long time ago, but uh, did uh, is not planning on staying here, nor is that little table. You know, I'm just kind of in here temporarily to fill up space. I think she's gonna go ahead and get something really nice, like some outdoor furniture from the patio store or something like that. Nice coffee table and two chairs and a couch, I think is her plan. I think it'd be really cool to put a little pot belly stove in here. I don't know how I do that anymore. I kind of really want to put that in the garage anyways for the winter time. Um, plus we got the, the bonfire pit out there, so no big deal on that, but nice little bug free zone is what we're calling this. I got the fence up and the garden box is starting, just starting to till up a little bit. We did have another frost this morning. It is the 11th, so nothing's planted yet, but, um, the strawberries, of course, but those are hardy. Well, that's what she looks like. This is uh, Mrs. Red Till Ray's Mother Day, Mother's Day present, 2021. 
and knocked it out of the park pretty well. Um, finished off, I'm not sure if you guys did see, there wasn't too many views on that and I took it down, but the preview little teaser for this thing, I didn't have any of these furring strips up to keep the uh, screen nice and snug. Obviously with two dogs and two kids, um, accidents will happen and just assuming that any kind of pushing on it whatsoever would pull and rip those staples out that it's all attached by. So these really help strengthen and tighten all that stuff up on the outside and on the inside. Uh, big heavy duty 3H staples. And uh, yeah, that, that still more to be done, especially as far as decorating goes, but my hands are off of it now because it's, it's the she shed for Mrs. Redtail Ray and she's gonna decorate it and take over and do whatever she wants with it. So pretty cool, just thought I'd share that. A non-traditional um, lean-to style screened in porch um, done on the real cheap, um, as cheap as possible for the construction and lumber prices are right now. But um, there you go. That's just my take on a happy wife, happy life. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you in the next one.